In this problem, we have to evaluate this limit. So whenever you're computing limits, the very first thing you should try is to take this number and plug it in here for your, all your x's. You'll notice right away, um, if you do that on the bottom, you'll get 1 minus 1, which is 0. And that's no good. That's bad. Um, it's not good to have 0 on the bottom because it makes it undefined. So we need another strategy in this problem. And it doesn't look like this is factorable. So the idea is to do something called rationalize the numerator. So whenever you have something like this with the square root and like you're adding and subtracting a number, that's the strategy. What you basically do is you multiply by 1 in a very clever way. So you multiply by the so-called conjugate. So the square root of x plus 3, and then you switch the sign. And then you divide by that same number. So you're basically um, just multiplying by the number 1. It's a really, really important technique. Again, it's called rationalizing the numerator. Now you use a familiar formula from, from math. It's the difference of squares formula. It says if you have a minus b times a plus b, you end up with a squared minus b squared. That's the formula we're going to use to do this problem. So let's go ahead and write the limit down again. So limit as x approaches 1. And let's apply the formula. So in the numerator, our a is the square root of x plus 3. You see it's a minus b, a plus b. And that's our a here, a and b. So we square uh, the square root of x plus 3 squared. So when you do that, the square root goes away. And so you just get x plus 3. So that's our a squared. And then minus b squared. So b is 2. So 2 squared is 4. So that's, that's our a squared minus b squared from the formula, right? And on the bottom, we still have the x minus 1. And this is the part that I often forget. Don't forget this piece, right? Uh, it's still there. Um, I've done that before multiple times. And I'm like, what's going on? Uh, how will you know if you forget that piece? Well, you won't be able to do it. Right? You'll get stuck. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1. So in the numerator, we have uh, x minus 1, because 3 minus 4 is 1. And in the denominator, we also have an x minus 1. And then we're left with the square root of x plus 3 plus 2. This cancels. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1. So you have 1 over square root of x plus 3 and then plus 2. Good stuff. And so now you can see we can plug in the 1, right? There's that x minus 1 is gone. We got rid of it by uh, using this technique. So this is equal to, so now we're going to plug in the number, so we'll drop the limit sign. So it's 1 over the square root of 1 plus 3. Then we have our plus 2 over here. So this is equal to 1 over the square root of 4 plus 2. What a nice problem. And the square root of 4 is 2. So you just get 1 over 2 plus 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. And that, my friends, is the final answer. Really nice problem. Um, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck and take care.